Hey, on Friday, I went through a bunch of my clients' content and gave them feedback. That's one of the things that we do inside the Content Creator Studio membership. And one of my clients had a sales page that looked really clean, really beautiful, very easy to read. It was just exactly what a sales page should look like, right? It was super consumable. But she was really feeling like she just, it, there was something missing. So in the feedback, she did three things that brought her from zero clients in her program on Friday to I checked in with her yesterday. She has five new clients in her program as of yesterday. So what did she shift in her content? Well, these are things that all of us can be looking at. First of all, what we switched was the number of words and phrases that were jargony or industry related or incredibly academic or formal. So this expert comes from a formal background. She's got a lot of expertise. She's got some big um, uh, credentials behind her name, right? So we tend to write with our language, but that is not the language that our audience is using to describe what's wrong with them. So the very first thing that we needed to shift was moving out of that jargon. The thing was she couldn't really even see that it was jargon. It was really hard for her to see like what other words there could be. So that's why going back and forth with somebody else. So the first thing she did was she moved out of the jargon and the formality. People really want to read um, conversational pieces. And especially once you know your industry and once you know your audience, if they're a bunch of academics, then you're going to speak to them academically. But most of us in the marketing world are speaking to regular people, regular everyday people who don't want to sound like they're being um, spoken to by a professor. So that's, a, that's the first thing we did. We just shifted what is the language that her audience would be using. The second thing that we did was we made super really specific, relatable examples, not broad commentary, not broad sweeping things for her audience to maybe consider that do they relate to this? No, the more specific you can get, the better, the, the more uh, clear examples you can give them from their day, something that mirrors what's going on for them in a given moment in a given day. So don't worry about being hyper specific in your copy, because that makes people think like, oh my God, she totally gets me, right? And the third thing she did was have the, the, the courage to bring her piece to the group and have us give feedback on it. It is very vulnerable to have somebody look at your writing. I mean, that's a lot of the reason that we don't put our content out there. And so the fact that she submitted it and got on the call live and was able for me to go back and forth with her and she could take that feedback. She was very coachable, but she was willing to have a second set of eyes look at it. And when I looked at her sales page, I'm like, okay, this is what I think you're saying and this is who I think you're talking to. And there's three different things you could be saying here, which one is right. And she just was like, pow, 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 pow. and if you're not, if you're working in a silo, with your content, you might feel like, oh, I don't really want anybody to look at it. And I'm afraid to put it out there and it has to be perfect. It's never perfect. My content isn't even perfect. If you watch this back, you'll see a million mistakes that I made and I stutter and I use my hands too much. Like we just have to put our stuff out there because people care about getting their information from a real person, not a perfect automaton. So I would say have the courage to show up and also have the courage to get feedback on your stuff. So if you can start making those three changes in every piece of content, speak your audience's language, um, be really specific with your detail and example, and have the courage to put it out there and get feedback on it, I'm, you're going to start to see your content get better. Now, I wanted to tell you, this is the kind of stuff that we do in my program. And I am offering right now a year of weekly support with your content, live calls, and you can take them as you need them, and there's training for $444. And I'm going to put the link below. And I have this going through May 15th. And the reason that I'm doing it is because this is how important I think that creating good content is for your audience. It's good for your audience. It's good for you, but it's really good for your business because you're in business to make money. So I'm here to help you get that content to a place where you feel confident putting it out there and where you can finally get some traction with it. It's called the Content Creator Studio. I will put it in the link. But I'm curious, what are the struggles that you have with your sales? page and putting your stuff out there. Let me know in the comments. I will be happy if you tag me to come back and answer them. I hope this was helpful. These three small shifts that actually have a huge impact in your content. Bye.